I find it very ironic that he thinks no experience is a negative when the more you tout than anything is the fact that you're supporting President Trump. President Trump had no government experience, and I think you're going around telling everyone, which I agree with, he's done some amazing things. So we need someone who's an outsider like Donald Trump. I'm speaking. He's been involved in politics. He's a world figure. He is a well-known person. How has I know he been Donald involved Trump. in he's politics? He's a friend of mine. You're a good man, but you are not Donald Trump. And you are nowhere to be found during the Trump campaign. Both Republicans hoping to be the next governor of South Carolina are trying to compare themselves to President Donald Trump during a debate tonight. Now, both men tangled over who truly supported the president when he was just a candidate. Yeah, both candidates spoke on a range of topics from immigration to expansion of Medicaid. 7 News' Georgia Reed Godfrey has that story. Governor Henry McMaster started the debate by speaking about his accomplishments in the state. John Warren spoke directly about the issues he plans to address if he becomes governor. In this race, we've heard a lot of negative charges, a lot of negative negativism. I don't believe in that. I think that the governor's purpose is to inspire the people to lead and to make things happen. We have got to have new leadership, someone that can come in, bring positive change, positive solutions to our complex problems, and that's what I'm going to do as governor. The debate started off with questions about each candidate, what Warren thinks of McMaster, and what Governor McMaster thinks of the candidate eyeing his spot. One of the big topics was South Carolina's role in the immigration debate. I support building the wall, and I said yesterday that President Trump was going to find a solution to that complex problem, and today he did. If we don't have borders, then we cannot have a country, and he's right on that, and I am uh, support him 100%. The moderators drilled the candidates on health care, whether to expand Medicaid, and how to address hospital shortages. The candidates also had to give their take on global warming and offshore drilling, an issue both candidates agreed on. We do not want offshore drilling on South Carolina. It may be okay for some other states, but they don't, as I mentioned, they don't have the kind of coastline we have. One industry for South Carolina in general is tourism. We have got to protect it. Uh, I'm not going to risk it with offshore drilling, uh, and I won't do that as governor. The candidates went back and forth over who was more like President Donald Trump. I was there as his state chairman in South Carolina, and they tell me the first elected official in the country to support then-candidate Trump. He's done an amazing job with the Supreme Court justice. He's done a great job of ta comprehensive tax reform, of deregulating a lot of things. But even with the Trump comparisons, each Donald candidate Trump says it's their friend. vision for the state we that makes them the best choice. Our potential is unlimited for economic growth. And when you have economic growth, you have happy people, you have healthy people. There's more money for schools, more money for roads. Of the corruption, we're tired of the incompetence. We're tired of the lack of accountability within our state government. And I'm going to bring uh, a lot of positive change and a lot of reform. That runoff will take place Tuesday, June 26th. In Newberry, Georgia Godfrey, 7 News. The candidate who wins the runoff Tuesday will face Democrat James Smith in the general election in November.